Today we have some unbelievable news about the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 and that's coming up right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description. So we've got more news on the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 and unfortunately it's both good and bad depending on what you guys wanted. Before we get started though, please like the video if you're looking forward to the launch and let me know in the comments if you're planning on buying one and if you're not then what phone are you looking forward to? But today it's time to talk about the specs of the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 and then unfortunately I may have some bad news. Pretty much all of the Galaxy Fold 2 leaks have come from Ross Young so far and today is no different. Ross Young has reported that the Galaxy Fold 2 is going to be seen as the most premium device in the Samsung range, more premium than the Note and to be honest this was always expected. He states that the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 is coming with a 7.59 inch display when unfolded at a resolution of 2213 by 1689 and this gives us 372 pixels per inch. He also advises that the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 is going to be coming with a 120Hz display and this will also be an LTPO display to save on battery. The Galaxy Fold 2 is reportedly going to have a punch hole camera on the inner and the outer display and it's going to be available in a choice of 4G or 5G. Now that's the good news out of the way, it's time for something that may be considered bad. It was Ross Young who originally advised us that the Galaxy Fold 2 was going to be the first folding phone with an S Pen. Sources are now claiming that the Galaxy Fold 2 is not going to come with an S Pen as the display is just not durable enough and three days ago Ross Young tweeted the question, which would you prefer on the Galaxy Fold 2, ultra thin glass with no S Pen or a plastic cover film with an S Pen. Now of course this tweet is a little vague and doesn't confirm anything on its own but he went on to provide further detail. He stated that the ultra thin glass provides better hardness and it feels more like a current phone with a non-flexible display. The transparent polymide apparently has better impact resistance but it does feel more like plastic, although both of them are going to have a hard coat scratch resistance cover. So all in all it did look like he was trying to hint that the Galaxy Fold 2 is going to be using the ultra thin glass which means no S Pen and Ross also confirmed this when one of his followers said they would prefer ultra thin glass with no S Pen to which Ross replied it looks like you'll get your wish. So overall it's great news if that's what you wanted but if like me you were hoping to finally see the S Pen on a folding device then you're no doubt going to feel disappointment. Folding phones are still in their infancy though and it's going to be exciting to see them progress over the next few years. When it comes to pricing we do have some more good news and apparently the Galaxy Fold 2 is expected to be priced at $100 less than last year and this is to boost sales so we're going to expect a launch price of around $1,880. Now of course this is by no means cheap and it's still a very luxury device with an even more luxury price tag but it is a step in the right direction. These leaks of course came from Ross Young again and he also agrees that the launch is going to be on August with shipments ready to start in October and these are likely to be alongside the Note. For anyone interested in the Galaxy Fold 2 though, we're going to run through all of the details we have so far. For my regular viewers, you guys have already seen this so simply switch off now but if you're new here, go ahead and hit subscribe and we'll get right into it. One of the largest rumours currently floating around the web is that the Galaxy Fold 2 is going to be the first device from Samsung to have an in-display selfie camera. Well this would actually make sense given that it is a luxury device with a very high price tag, it appears it's just not going to happen yet. Credible leaker Ice Universe has already advised on Twitter that Samsung is considering this technology for debut in the S21. He advises that Samsung are currently evaluating its feasibility for the S21 so there's just no way it's going to be ready in time for the Galaxy Fold 2. The outer design of the Galaxy Fold 2 is also reported to be very similar to its predecessor but with a larger external display. Although the whole industry has been experiencing delays due to the current outbreak, we're still expecting mass production to begin mid-May and commercial units should be ready by June. Many are speculating that the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 is going to be releasing alongside the Note 20 in August so it's not too much longer until we find out. We've had plenty of other concepts for the device from people such as OnLeaks and Concept Creator and they all look incredible. 
The future of folding phones is looking very promising and the Galaxy Fold 2 is going to be in a similar form factor as the original Fold but it's going to be even more premium. A patent was previously filed by Samsung and it reveals a foldable device with a slightly different form factor than the original Fold. It's more of a Galaxy Tab with a folding form factor and with this design we get a much larger display and a better aspect ratio for both media and gaming. The pattern also reveals a full screen display when unfolded, so this is where the rumours of the in-display camera originally came from. Of course, while in-display cameras do seem very unlikely at this time, it's not impossible and nothing's been confirmed just yet. The early leaks came from a South Korean publication who advised the whole design of the Galaxy Fold 2 was aimed at having a tablet but with portability. It's reportedly going to be designed to fit comfortably in pockets but still provide a large enough display. The Galaxy Fold 2 can supposedly be used in the form of a mini laptop by resting the bottom on the surface and folding up the top and we then have a display on top with a keyboard on the bottom. Previous reports were also stating that Samsung was switching to using ultra-thin glass instead of the transparent polymide we were used to and this glass was said to be capable of using an S Pen. Now this is where the confusion originally came from as these reports were published prior to the launch of the Z Flip so we had less information about ultra thin glass. We now know that in its current form it's not able to support an S Pen so I advise it to disregard these rumours. When it comes to the hardware and the specification we of course will get the 512 gigs of internal storage and this will of course be UFS 3. We expect this to be coupled up with 16 gigs of RAM and it's of course going to use the new Snapdragon 865. We'll likely get some decent cameras but media is going to be the main target audience rather than photography. A device that folds out into a large tablet is great for watching media, gaming or even doing some editing but having a large device is not the best choice for a portable camera. The patent doesn't confirm that this is the Galaxy Fold 2 or that this is ever going to make it to market but it does seem a very sensible design that could take off if it does. We know that despite their initial issues Samsung are continuing to push their foldable devices. We've already had the launch of the new W20 as well as the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip. With each release they're improving the issues they face and they're becoming much more durable products. Unfortunately being a luxury product it also means it is going to come with a luxury price tag although the price of the new Galaxy Fold 2 is still very much unknown. With the launch expected to be July or August it's not going to be long until we do get some information and as always I'll be sharing it with you guys as it comes in. But I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 launch and is anyone out there going to buy one? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it smash a thumbs up. If you didn't hit the thumbs down twice and I'll see you guys in the next one.